Hey y'all, it's me back with another video. Child, I just ordered some Sizzler. Why was my steak? So, I don't even know why I get a well done steak at Sizzler anyway. Because it's never going to be right. No steak at Sizzler is going to be right, period. If it's well, medium well, it's bleeding. Well done. It's burnt. Girl, my steak was, was black as uh this this little nose right here. But anyway, that ain't what I came on here to tell y'all. So I was watching our girl Adrian's video today. And uh so she didn't got her another. Now that's one thing about Adrian, honey. Adrian gonna get her a man. Now he normally going to be some old crypt keeper looking thing that don't nobody else want. But she got her one. So she didn't got her another, uh, I think she said he's Italian, uh, gray hair, older man. He looked to be about 80. I'm just guessing. I was going to say 90, but he was still driving. So... 70 or 80. He looked old. Okay? But they were out at a little um I want to say beachside but marina type restaurant. And of course Adrian had on one of those little beauty store loud colored dresses that she always wears. And she was complaining that uh, she was the only black person there and that, you know, people were staring at her. And they probably were. <laughs> because Adrian, when she posted that picture on her community wall of this bright tie-dye dress, tie-dye-esque dress that she had on, I'm pretty sure people were staring at her because when you go to certain places, you have to read the room. You know, there are certain places where people dress a little more demure, if that's the right word. And Adrian, come on, oh, sweetheart, you can go to Dee Dee's or Ross and get you a couple of you know outfits that are not as loud like women your age don't normally now I wear a lot of tie-dye that's my you know the more hippie style is my style but I'm also in California so it's a thing out here um but when I go to a decent restaurant I dress accordingly, you know, if I'm going to go out to a nice dinner or whatever with my husband, I'm going to dress like I'm not going to Ruth Chris or what was that other place that we went? Fleming's, you know, really high end steakhouse in a tie dye outfit. And then... Adrian posted, you know, a picture of her outfit on her community wall. And when I looked down and saw them shoes, I was like, Adrian. Now, the beauty supply normally have like little cute sandals and, you know, come on, girl. You can get you a pair of decent shoes. Because men do look at stuff like that. They look at how a woman is dressed, how she presents herself. You can't just, you know, put on, go get your nails done and your toenails polished and you got on these dollar store flip-flops. You, come on, Adrian, go get you a nice skirt and maybe, you know, a couple of nice skirts because you like to wear dresses or whatever. Get you a couple of nice skirts, a couple of nice 
blouses. So when you go out with your man that, you know, you consider top tier and he's taking you to all of these nice places, you look nice. And then people won't stare at you. You know, they're looking at like, <laughs> where did he get her from? You know, she coming in here with these braids and it's nothing wrong with braids because i but you know how other people have a tendency to look at us anyway they do they do look at us but you're making yourself stand out in all of these bright colors you just you making people look at you get you a, a nice couple of blouses and a nice couple of you know skirts, maybe a nice little cocktail dress or something, just a nice little dress that you can wear. It don't have to be every color in the color in, in the crayon box. You know, like the dress she had, most of her dresses look like somebody just went and bought that Crayola 64 pack and just used it all on her dress, like, come on, girl, you are 50 years old. You should know how to present yourself and go out and look nice. But I really do think that she, you know, she just doesn't know. No one has taught her how to do that. And she just doesn't know how to present herself as a lady. I'm glad she not wearing that, um, she didn't took that knife off. She not wearing that knife connected to her, the front of her dress like she was doing when she was with the other Jeffrey. And it's interesting to me. I wonder why she ain't disrespected this guy like she did Jeffrey. But I'm pretty sure she will after they break up because that's like her track record and as soon as they break up she'll go jeffrey she coming back child don't worry about it because old boy ain't gonna hold on to adrian for long she's gonna eventually because right now adrian is in her honeymoon phase where you know she's doing everything she can to act right but she gonna slip up she gonna slip up she gonna do too much just like she's done with every other man that we have seen her with and she will end up going back to boat boy jeffrey but i just wish you know somebody will pull her coattail and be like girl let me take you shopping so you can get you a couple of outfits so when you go out with these men people don't stare at you and make you feel uncomfortable because, you know, you got the camera out, you're videotaping, and I know that's probably getting on his nerves already because it would definitely be getting on mine. That's why all the time when me and my husband go out, I'm not videotaping because he's not into social media like that. And when we go out, we just like to go out and eat and talk or, you know, whatever. I don't want to be dealing with the camera. But girl, go to Ross's or go to Dee Dee's and get you a couple, a nice couple of uh, blouses and a couple of cute skirts and get you two nice, you know, get you, you, you say your knees be hurting, get you some kitten heels. You know, you 50. It's okay to wear the kitten heels. You don't have to, you know, be out here with the with them high high heels get you some kitten heels but get you something and stop wearing them ugly slides everywhere you go because they those slides take away from the dress like they dress the dress down so much that it don't even look right but you know this is just my opinion child Y'all can get in the comments and get mad at me because y'all be like, ooh, if I say anything about anybody, y'all be out here having a whole ass heart attack. Not that I care, but y'all do. So, I'm going to talk to y'all later. That's all I had to say. I'm still battling this sore throat. I, I'm going to have to talk to my doctor because something got to be going on for my throat. 
to be getting sore, then it's unsore, then it's sore again. I think it may be my tonsils or something. But I'm going to call my doctor tomorrow. It's feeling better, but it's not feeling perfect. That's why I haven't been going live because I don't really want to talk a whole lot. Because if I talk too much, then it starts to hurt. So that's it. I will see you guys later. I love you. Bye.